Hello, I'm Dr. Roger J. Gowdy, President and CEO of the Amateur Athletic Union of the United States. I'm doing this video today to kind of portray to you a message of hope from the AAU about the future of amateur sports in this country. We feel very strongly here at the AAU that we have one of the world's leading sports organizations as far as hosting multiple events from 41 different sport committees that we have in 56 districts across the country. I'm talking to you today for a very specific reason. One is to let you know that we believe here at the AAU that we will be back and we'll be back stronger than ever in managing events and running sporting events across this country, this great country of ours. Um, right now, it's a very difficult time for a lot of people and we understand that. And we would never want to put any of our athletes, parents, coaches, volunteers, or staff members in this organization at Jeopardy. And we certainly don't plan on doing that. What we do plan on doing though is behind the scenes as everybody's staying at home and trying to stop this horrible disease that hit the whole world. What we are doing here at the AAU is our, our staff, our volunteers, our 150,000 volunteers across the country and our many, many people that work in the sporting industry are working to be ready when this returns to normal or a new normal, whatever that may be. Um, the message I guess I wanted to convey to you today is that when we're ready to get going again, we hope that you're ready. And it's important for you as athletes, as parents, as coaches, to not just be sitting around doing nothing during this entire time, but using your time productively. There's many things you can do. Uh, matter of fact, online at our uh, pyfpathome.org uh, is a physical uh, fitness program that has been around for a long time under the old President's Council of Physical Fitness and Sports. Uh, we have, our staff here has put together an online version of that where you can go online and do the push-ups and sit-ups and uh, the uh, squats and the shuttle run and those types of activities that can keep you in shape or at least measure what kind of fitness you're currently having. Uh, we would encourage you to obviously use our system, the pyfpathome.org online, uh, or use any system. But instead of just sitting around and when the bell rings and we're ready to get back and running basketball and volleyball and wrestling and gymnastics and all these other sports that the AAU has to offer and all the other governing bodies and organizations have to offer, we want you to be physically ready to do these things. So we're encouraging you, along with your parents and your friends, uh, you don't have to do it together, but you would do it independently of each other, keep your safe space, keep your six foot apart, keep your distance, but in your own home, you could do all of these things. So I guess what we're trying to tell, the message we're trying to deliver to you today is, yeah, we're, we're temporarily set back here, but the AAU has been around since 1888. We've been through a couple world wars. We've been through the Spanish flu. We've been through 9-11. We've been through the Great Depression. We've survived all of this. And we're gonna be around for another 130 years after this. And we just wanted to let you know and send this message to you from me that we're here, we're here to stay, we're here for you, and we really want you to have sports in this country again. I think sports are very important to the fabric of this country. And I think it's very important that you as athletes just don't drift away and forget to come back to us. So whether you're competing with us or any of the other wonderful organizations that are out there, We'd like to encourage you to stay fit and keep America fit again. So this is from uh, me to you and the number of volunteers and wonderful people that we have working for the AAU and volunteering every day. I just wanted to let you know, out there working hard to keep this organization going for you and have a place for you to go when all of this goes away. We're starting to see a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel. And I think we sooner rather than later, we'll be getting back together. It may not look the same, but we will be together. We will be doing sports again. It'll be great for this country. That's part of the fabric of this great nation that we have, and it always has been. So we look forward to working with you again. 
And we just wanted to let you know we're still here for you. Once again, we always consider ourselves very, very fortunate to have such wonderful partners going through these difficult times like the Walt Disney World Company and ESPN Wide World of Sports, where we partner with a lot of activities through their uh, ESPN Wide World of Sports complex. Uh, them along with other great sponsors we have like East Bay, uh, Captain U, Nationwide, and uh, Ready Nutrition and several others that we have have been there for us and they're all standing ready to get going again once we get going. So again, I wanna emphasize the point, there is hope. We are gonna be back and we're gonna be there for you. So just hold on with us and be patient. And we here at the AAU, this is uh, currently our office and this is our front desk. We hope to have this bustling again where people are coming through those doors, registering for events, and getting involved with AAU activities that are not only good for you, good for sports, but they're good for America. Um, we're, we're in our, uh, our meeting room now. This is kind of like our Hall of Fame room at the AAU National Headquarters. And you can see on the walls, we have all these young athletes in basketball, volleyball, wrestling, baseball. And we also have a bunch of boxes in here because we right now are kind of in limbo where events aren't going on. So we got boxes full of medals and t-shirts and things that we were hoping to use for the different events. These events haven't gone away. Hopefully they're just postponed. But the beauty of this room is it has a great history in here. And you could look along this wall over here and see minutes of meetings that we've had in the AAU all the way back to 1888. And you can see sports rule books of AAU all the way through the history of this organization. Uh, the history of the Junior Olympic Games up on top where it shows all the cities we've had our JO games in since 1986, I believe it is. I, but let me check and give you a, a proper date. But our first Junior Olympic Games was in 1967. I was incorrect. And it shows all the way up till 2024 where the Junior Olympic Games uh, are going to be. So we have a great history in here of activities and along the far wall you see more boxes because events have not gone on but you'll see on the top up there you have uh, beach volleyball and karate actually it might be taekwondo and swimming and diving and we have uh, a young lady vaulting in gymnastics and I believe that's karate and then we have more gymnastics youth football hockey some more gymnastics down there as well as a number of trophies and historical things in here. Again, we wanna get back to the day where all you young people are out there competing to achieve the high standards that you set for yourself and you set for athletics in general. So we wanna get back at it. We wanna do this. We want you back and we wanna be bigger and stronger than ever. So please uh, stay in touch with us, stay in contact and we'll be talking to you. Thank you. And we want to let you know that when that day does come, we'll be ready, will you?